watching the channel everybody. I am at the terminus of the Florida Trail and I am fixing to through hike the Florida Trail Sobo. Just kidding. I'm not doing that. <laughs> what I am doing is another portion of the Florida Trail called the Ocean to Lake Trail. The Ocean to Lake Trail is technically part of the Florida Trail system. Florida Trail actually has a lot of different routes that are included into the Florida Trail system and the Ocean to Lake is one of them. It is 61 miles. It goes east to west. So what we are going to do is start at Lake Okeechobee and walk to Hope Sound, which this would be the end. Probably wondering, well, why are you at the end if you're starting the trail today? Let's talk about logistics really quickly. So what most people do is park at Hope Sound and then get an Uber to the Lake Okeechobee trailhead. There's a few reasons why one would do this. There's not really a good place to park at the Lake Okeechobee trailhead. There's not really safe parking. I would rather end my hike, have the grand finale be here at the beach than at the lake. I'm leaving my car in the parking lot up here. I put a sign in my dash that said, I'm a ocean to lake hiker and I'm expected to be back in three days. I've heard some really great things about the ocean to lake. People say it is a 60 mile preview of what hiking in Florida is all about. You get a little bit of everything out there. The trail's very wet. Florida is very wet this year. Most of the trail is going to be underwater. So it's definitely gonna be an adventure. I'm really excited to bring y'all along. So let's get started. So I'm gonna be hiking this trail with Tripod, Kitty Hawk, and like seven other Florida Trail through hikers that are taking a little uh, break from the Florida Trail to come do these miles with us. So Tripod just dropped off all the hikers at the lake. He's gonna park over here and then Tripod, Kitty Hawk, and I will get that Uber and meet them there and start the trail. So I'm just hanging out. All right, we're here with the crew. Look at all these hikers. Let's introduce everybody. We got Tripod. What up? We got Caboose. Hey! We got Nana Man. Uh, in Road in Soda. In Road Soda on the phone. <laughs> we got Gas Monkey. Lots of found. What up? We got Woods. Hey. We got Sprinkles. Hi. And we got Kitty Hawk. That is the Ocean to Lake crew. So we're gonna get going here. Yeah, start hiking back to the beach. Is that a trail log? Yeah. There's a guy who had the same shirt. Oh shit, it's actually jolly shoes. All right, this is the parking lot where you start, but we're gonna go tag the lake, which is up there. There's the orange blaze. This is so exciting. Back on trail, baby. We're gonna go touch the lake. This is Lake Okeechobee, where the trail starts. And tripod's gonna touch the water for us. <laughs> uh, you want some? I want some. You want some? I want some. I want some. You want some? You got some. Okay, got, I got some Lake Okeechobee water on me. Oh my god, I touched the lake. My whole foot's red. Oh, ready? <laughs> now we're ready to start hiking. To the ocean we go! What is that? Like, ew, ew. So the first like three miles of the trail has just been on some dirt roads, but we have finally made it into the woods. There's a nice backpack holder at this little campsite. And we're gonna take a short little break. Some sort of plaque. Dean Drake, he made this trail. Thank you. <laughs> oh no. Everybody is signing Nana's <laughs> chest. <laughs> About four or five miles into the Ocean to Lake Trail on the left, if you're going east, there's a little Blue Blaze loop route that would be good for like a first time backpacking trip or an overnight called the Dupuis 
trail and there's a campground and it connects on to the ocean to lake and you can make a loop out of it but I thought I'd mention that because this is a really pretty section of the trail. The beginning of the trail is beautiful and today we got spoiled with some really beautiful weather. It's probably like low 60s. Perfect hiking weather. It was really really hot last week so we got lucky. We are about five miles into the trail. Surprisingly there's been no wet spots yet but I have a feeling that's going to change pretty soon. No way! Ah! <laughs> ah! Come on, Anna! She's giving you good lobs. I oh, know. You don't get covered in sugar. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, go. Hey! Oh first try! Let's go! <laughs> Aisle 8, still no water. Our plan is to do 18. If we do 18, we're definitely going to be night hiking, which I don't mind that. I love night hiking. <laughs> Whatever that is, <laughs> they painted blazes on it. We're mile 11 and uh, things are starting to get muddy and wet. I'm gonna say goodbye to dry feet now and my brand new Hocus. This is where they go to die. Yeah, this is the trail. It's too hard to just rip the band-aid off and get your feet wet. They're already wet. <laughs> <laughs> but not like saturated wet. I think we're about probably 13 in now. This is my life now. I signed up for this. I wanted to do this. Oh, the water's kind of cold. <laughs> Yikes. We're losing our sunlight fast. And <laughs> the water is here to stay for a while. It's pretty deep, it's pretty cold. The only thing that I wouldn't like about night hiking is in this is that it will be cold. It's supposed to get down to 44 tonight, and uh, I'm already kind of chilly. I got goosebumps. Some of you are probably asking, why? Why would you want to do this? Because it's fun. I feel like a kid just stomping through puddles, not worried about getting dirty. It's fun. It's different style of hiking. Don't knock it till you try it. Welcome to the Florida Trail, y'all. One thing I learned hiking the Florida Trail last year is that it's good to stop every once in a while when you're hiking through swamp like this and empty your shoes because they get filled with a bunch of like gunk and it pushes your foot up on the shoe and that can cause blistering. So use some of this dark black water, swish it around, get a good clean off, clean your socks off. Good as new for a little while anyway. 
We'll see if I get any blisters during this 60 miles. I already feel kind of a hot spot on my pinky toe. And that was something that I struggled with a lot at the beginning of the Florida Trail last year was foot care because your feet are wet so much. You go from really harsh swamp to really harsh road walk. Going back and forth can be really hard on your feet. If you do plan to hike the Florida Trail or this trail, just be aware of foot care. Think about it. Take care of your feet. Look how cool this like moss stuff is growing in the swamp. So it's officially, well, it doesn't look dark, but it is. And somebody on far out said that there was a aggressive gator back here. So um, took my headlamp out because I'd like to see this gator before it sees me. We're about to be at a campsite and hopefully some dry ground. Yay. Dry ground. I almost want to wring out the socks, but... We are taking a little break at this campground. We got about four miles to the next campground. So we're gonna try to get our feet dry just to get them wet again. Yes, our favorite. Thanks, Nana and Gas Monkey. All right, we just spent like an hour and a half at the campsite, but we are back on the road and we're gonna do four more miles to the next campsite. It's really cold, <sighs> you can see my breath. So I'm freezing and not looking forward to walking in the cold water. We found a baby owl, look at him. <laughs> Longer. It's not shortcut. Tequila Roadwalk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Roadwalk or tequila. <laughs> okay. One, two, two three. three. Roadwalk! Roadwalk! <laughs> so, we may or may not be taking a, a road walk. That's longer. That's longer. But it is drier. Cool. Where are you guys from? Fort Myers. Fort Myers. Georgia. Nice. Oh, North Carolina. Carolina. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's a great night. That's awesome. Glad y'all are enjoying it. Yeah. yeah. Bye, guys. Moon should be out in a couple hours and brighten everything up. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> we made it through. Whoa, look. Eat him. Nana, yeah, put it in your mouth. Yeah, yeah. There's two glowing eyes that keep turning around and looking at us. Oh my gosh. This is kind of cool. Got a left. Gator. Where? Where'd he go? Must have submerged. What is it? It's a frog. It's a snake. Oh, no. No way. Oh my gosh. It's all coiled up. Oh. That is terrifying! <laughs> right there, look at that snake. No, it's a nighthawk. That's a bird. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a bird! Dude, I think that's what we saw in the tree earlier. We're like, it's a baby owl! <laughs> <laughs> this is how a horror movie starts. <laughs> Blind girls when we die for this. Huh? <laughs> we are at Little Gopher Campsite for the night. Look at all those hikers. Ooh! This is nice! This is me right here. There's at least three more spots back here. Okay guys, we made it to the campsite and this is, it's dark obviously so I can't show you guys till the morning but there's a lot of spots here, a lot of flat ground and happy to be at camp. I think we accomplished 18.6 um, miles, maybe a little bit more today. So it's a good day. I'm gonna get my tent set up and get some dinner.
Oh, hold on. <laughs> Good job, Nana. I love the lights. I love the lights. This is what's for dinner. It is a mountain house pad thai with chicken. It's pretty good. It's one of my more favorite meals. What are you gonna do? I got some pig alfredo pasta. Nice. Living that bougie life. Yeah, dude. <laughs> is that rain jack or rain pants? No. We are trying to dry our socks off. Everybody say wet socks. socks. <laughs> this is what we do at camp. Just stand around the fire and roast our socks. Alright y'all, I'm in my tent for the night. It's a good day. Wet trail. Pretty cold at the end, but overall, really beautiful. Really fun to be back on the Florida Trail with all my friends. We'll be back at it tomorrow again. Good night.